गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इकॉन थ्री सिक्स फाइव फार्म मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन एंड रिसोर्स इकोनॉमिक्स सो टुडेज अवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट दी मिनिमम लॉस प्रिंसिपल्स और कॉस्ट प्रिंसिपल एंड अनदर वन इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ फैक्टर सब्सटीट्यूशन ओके ना वो विल सी वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन इज कॉस्ट प्रिंसिपल और मिनिमम लॉस प्रिंसिपल सो दिस प्रिंसिपल गाइड्स द प्रोड्यूसर इन द मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ लॉसेस मीन्स कॉस्ट प्रिंसिपल गाइड्स द प्रोड्यूसर्स और फार्मर टू मिनिमाइज द लॉसेस इन द फार्मिंग एक्टिविटीज कॉस्ट इन दिस प्रिंसिपल कॉस्ट आर डिवाइडेड इंटू टू पार्ट दैट इज फिक्सड कॉस्ट एंड दी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट एज वी नो in the farming business there are some cost which are fixed over a time and there are some cost which are variable or which are changes over a time this cost are the variable cost so variable costs are important in determining whether to produce or not in a fixed cost and variable cost variable cost are important in determining whether to produce or not to produce in a particular period of time because of the cost of variable inputs so fixed costs are important in making decisions on different practices and different amounts of production on the other hand fixed costs are important in making decisions on the different practices and different amount of production Uh, in a short run the gross return or total revenue must cover total variable cost means in a short run businesses the gross returns or overall returns or total revenue total income must cover the total variable cost we see in the figure on the x axis that is output on the y axis is cost here are the curves of marginal cost average total cost average variable cost and the average fixed cost so to state in a different way that selling price must cover the average variable cost to continue production in the short run mean in case of short run activities the selling or output of that enterprise must cover the average variable cost to continue the production okay on the other hand in a long run gross returns or total revenue must cover the total cost invested in the particular enterprises so alternatively stated that the selling price must cover the production selling price must cover the cost of production means in case of long run and short run the selling price or the income must cover the average total cost okay in the short run emr marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost marginal means additional revenue is equal to the additional cost or marginal cost the point may be at the level of output which may involve loss instead of the profit means in a short run marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost the point may be at the level of output which may be involve loss instead of profit means in a case of short run when marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost it will be the loss instead of the profit okay the situation of operating the farm when the price of product that is marginal revenue is less than average total cost but greater than average variable cost is common in agriculture means in the agriculture sector when uh, the situation of operating the farm when the price of product is less than average total cost 
but greater than average variable cost means in agriculture sector it is seen that the marginal price or marginal return are less than the average total cost but greater than the average variable cost this explains why the farmers keep farming even they run into the losses because of they get the marginal returns greater than the average variable cost so it explains why farmers are keeping the farming when even they are run into the losses so this is about the loss minimization principle next is principle of factor substitution so this economic principle explain one of the basic production relationship that is factor factor relationship factor factor means input input relationship okay factors means input factors of production it may be land labor capital or other combination of the inputs okay so principle of factor substitution explains the factor factor relationship so it guides means principle of factor substitution guides in the determination of least cost combination of resources means it guides while choosing the factors of production with a least cost or with a less cost means the principle of factor substitution helps in the determination of least cost combination of various resources then next it helps in making management decisions how to produce principle of factor substitution helps in the helps to manager while making the decision about how to produce okay next substitution of one input for another input occurs frequently in the agricultural production means every input has a substitute in case of the agricultural production means substitution of one input for another input occurs frequently in the agricultural production means input of one one company has a substitute of another company okay means it occurs in the agricultural production for example one grain can be substituted for another forage of for grain in a livestock ration means jowar fodder jowar is substitute fodder jowar is substitute for the fodder maize okay chemical fertilizer can be substitute for the organic manures means chemical for the nutrient availability chemical fertilizers are the substitute for the organic manures machinery machinery is substitute for the human labors herbicides is the substitute for mechanical cultivation etc means substitutes for factors are available in the agriculture sector the farmer must select that combination of inputs or that combination of factors or practices which will produce a given amount of output for the least cost means the farmer must select such a combination of produce with minimum cost but which will get the higher produce or higher output to the farmer in other words the problem is to find the least cost combination of resources means principle of factor substitution helps in the overcome the problem of least cost combination of resources as this will maximize profit from producing a given amount of output means the problem is to find the least cost combination of resources means we have to find the resources available resources with less cost but from that resources we will get the maximum output the principle of factor substitution says that go on adding resources so long as the cost of resources being added is less than the saving in a cost from the resources being replaced means when we substitute one resource with another 
the cost of that resource must be less than the previous resources which has been replaced by another resource okay thus if input x1 is being increased and input x2 is being replaced the increase the use of x1 so as so long as long okay so this is about the principle of factor substitution thank you for this topic you can refer the book economics of farm production and management by vt raju dvs rao and another book by zohol and kapoor that is fundamentals of farm business management thank you